This is a practice exercise, page 4 or 2 in the textbook. We're going to be dealing with collecting a gas over water. So this is a use of partial pressures, and we're also going to do a little bit of gas stoichiometry. So in this problem, they tell us that we've got ammonium nitrate, and it's decomposing to form nitrogen gas, and that we are going to collect that over water. So the apparatus they're looking at, this is the image here. So essentially what happens is that you perform the reaction, and something like this, a test tube that can release the gas, the gas is collected here, and then you end up with a total pressure here, and that total pressure is going to be equal to the pressure of whatever gas was released from the reaction, plus whatever that partial pressure of the water vapor is. So whenever there's some liquid water, there's always some water vapor above it, and we're going to use this information here, the vapor pressure of water at different temperatures, in order to figure out how much of the total pressure is due to the vapor pressure of the water. So again, going to look up at this problem here. They tell us the temperature, and they also tell us the total pressure. So there's our temperature, there's our total pressure. Well, we should know that the total pressure is going to be equal to the partial pressure of the nitrogen gas, since that's what we are forming, and the partial pressure of the water. So if we use this chart from the back of the book here, we can see that at 26 degrees C, the partial pressure or the vapor pressure of the water is 25.21 torr. So if I rearrange this equation to solve for the partial pressure of the nitrogen, I can see that the partial pressure of the nitrogen is just going to be equal to the total pressure minus the partial pressure of the water. So since my total was 745 torr, I can subtract the 25.21 torr and figure out that the partial pressure of just the nitrogen is 719.79 torr. So how does this help us solve the problem? Well, if we look at what they're actually asking us, they're actually asking us how many grams of this ammonium nitrate were decomposed. So if I'm trying to figure out grams of ammonium nitrate, how does knowing the partial pressure of the nitrogen help me with that? Well, I said we were going to use a little bit of stoichiometry. So if we look back at the balanced reaction up here, if we know how much N2 gas is formed, we can figure out how much of the ammonium nitrite decomposed. So how are we going to figure out how much of the nitrogen gas? Well, if you look at the information we know, we now know the pressure of the nitrogen gas, we know its temperature, we know its volume. So if we have information, we should write it down. So we now know that the volume of N2, and I'm going to put this in liters, is 0 0.511 liters, we know that the temperature that the N2 was collected at is 26 degrees C. We know we're going to need to get that into Kelvin, so that's going to be 299.15 Kelvin. We already know the partial pressure, so it looks like we have all the information we need to use the ideal gas law, PV equals nRT. Again, we know the pressure, the volume, we always know R, we know T that'll allow us to figure out how many moles of N2 we have. So N for N2 is going to be equal to PV over RT. So just plugging in the information that we have here, we're going to need to convert the tor into atmospheres, and hopefully you remember from doing our conversions here that we're essentially just dividing by 760. So when we divide that by 760, we're going to be looking at less than an atmosphere. Specifically, we're going to be looking at 0.947 atmosphere. We know that our volume is 0 0.511 liters. We know that R is always 0 0.08206 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. And we know that we were at 299 0.15 Kelvin. So watching all of our units cancel, atmospheres, liters, Kelvin, we are going to be left with units of moles. So we know that we're going to end up with 0 0.0197 moles 
of n2. And then it's just a matter of doing the stoichiometry to get that into grams of ammonium nitrite. So give myself a little bit of space to do this. Okay, the coefficients from the balanced reaction tell us that we used one mole of the ammonium nitrite for every mole of N2. Since we want grams, we need to figure out how many grams are in every mole. And if you add together the mass of the two nitrogens, the four hydrogens, and the two oxygens, you're going to get 64 grams per mole. So that's going to give us an answer of 1.26 grams of this ammonium nitrite. So again, to follow through what we did here, they gave us a bunch of information about the N2 gas. We figured out that since it was collected over water at a certain temperature, we needed to know what the partial pressure or vapor pressure was of water at that temperature. So in order to solve for the partial pressure of just the nitrogen gas, we took the total pressure minus the partial pressure of the water to figure out the partial pressure of just the nitrogen. Using the partial pressure of the nitrogen along with its volume and its temperature, we put that into the ideal gas law to solve for moles of nitrogen, remembering to convert our pressure units into atmospheres. Once we knew how many moles of nitrogen we have, we just used standard stoichiometry to convert moles of nitrogen into moles of the ammonium nitrite, and then moles of ammonium nitrate into grams gives us our final answer and tells us how many grams of the original substance we started with. So again, nothing really new in this problem. We're just putting together a lot of different ways to solve problems that we've used throughout the course. So this is something to pay attention to for future problems, is that they can combine a lot of different information, a lot of different problem solving strategies into one big overall problem. So before you just start randomly calculating numbers, really think through the process, consider what information you have, and really have a plan for how you're going to get from your starting information to your ending information.